DJ, have some decency. Put that thing away. Ah, damn, look at that. This is the legend right here. Yo, the Corona got the boner. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. So during the quarantine, it's really important that you support your local businesses. So that's what we're doing here today. Just the essentials. All right, so we couldn't really film inside. They were filming us. They said, like, smile, you're on camera, but like, yeah, apparently, we, yeah, apparently legally we can't record in there. We still got a good haul. Show them what we got. Some whiskey. Whiskey. Some tequila. Tequila. Margarita, baby. Vodka. Vodka. Stay and skinny. The, and the mixers. And a whole bunch of mixers, because we're going to be mixing it up. Tonight, tomorrow, all this quarantine, baby. Ah. Jump us to the house now. Uh, a couple vlogs ago, we took our friend Cody to the emergency room to get stitched up because he had a busted eyebrow that was like just oozing blood. You guys remember it, see? It's like this. Oh shit, who did that to me? We didn't know what happened and we kind of find out the answer to the mystery. I'm gonna have him explain it. What happened was I got super, super wasted. That was a good day though. Went to a drag show. Drinking the whole day, so I was pretty hammered. You told us since two o'clock, I've been up and drinking like till two to two. And two to two. <laughs> you, have, you have a schedule. Two to two, 12 hour working man. You know, I was like hungry. I was like, you know, drunk hungry. I was like, you know, persistent on getting some pizza. I was going to Zalot's pizza place. Yeah, shout lot. out, shout out Zalot. So I was going out to get a pizza. So it was raining the whole time too. There, the stairs are super slippery. And I talked to the guy, so he's the one that told me what happened. I was walking up there, he saw me slip fall and hit my face on the uh, stairs. God, <laughs> oh my god. Case closed! Turn the camera off! Case closed! DJ the light guy. I got back up, <laughs> went inside, and tried to order my pepperoni pizza. <laughs> so I was like dripping blood all over the floor. While I was trying to order my pizza, the guy was like, hey, you know you're, uh, you're fucking bleeding. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what? He's like, you're bleeding. You're like, you're, you're bleeding all throughout the floor. All these other drunk people were coming at me. I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? And he said, I started freaking out a little bit. So I went to the restroom and then he said, yeah, you were in there for a little bit. Then you, as soon as you got out, you just left. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. We solved the mystery of what happened to Cody. Like, like, people people keep telling me, like, he, he be telling me, like, you know, I need to do my brows. <laughs> hey, you know a place good done for your eyebrows? Well, there's a good stairs, I know. <laughs> DJ, you just cooked something up. I want you to explain it to me. So what am I looking at? There is chorizo at the bottom of the tortilla. It's it's like, I was thinking there's like, a legit like, tortilla in the fucking bowl. <laughs> DJ needs to write his book, Broke Man's Recipes. Things you can cook at home when you're broke as fuck. Day seven of quarantine. This is the shit that you make. <laughs> Y'all were wondering what that tortilla was gonna do. He made a giant ass ramen burrito. A robito. Oh, a robito. <laughs> <laughs> I see this. Somebody straight up lost their chones. How does that even happen? Look at another thing, another wild thing right here. You see that? Someone ripped out a plant, ripped it out from right there, and just threw it on the ground. Like, man, if I can't go outside, outside come into the streets and just yanked it out and just threw it. I keep seeing some weird shit. I just noticed this one and, and there's a clear pattern. Someone is angry. Somebody ripped that out of the ground and just threw it out. Literally, just ripped it out, pulled it out, and just threw it there. See this? That is a bench. The legs are concrete. Someone knocked that hoe over. Who is doing this? Who is, is just that angry that is just knocking this crap over? The cherry on top of this hoe. Someone knocked this thing over. It's literally ripped out of the ground. Like, what? On that walk down, 
it escalated. It was the underwear ripped off, it was the flower ripped out of the flower bed, the bench knocked over, and then that giant electrical whatever thing that is. I mean, what could be so angry? Who could be so angry as to hold up? I think I just have myself a theory. Follow me on this one. Someone had to have been super angry, extremely strong, so it kept getting stronger, and then the underwear were ripped off. These characteristics, who do they all fit? We were paid a visit by uh, Dr. Bruce Banner, AKA the Incredible Hulk. Have you ever wanted to see what it looks like when you first walk into heaven? This is what it looks like. I don't even know what distance yourself like this <laughs>